Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Edwina Lee, and I'm with Arvik Types as a director of business division. And Arvik Types is a fund foundry based in Taiwan. And it's my pleasure to be here uh, to attend bids. And it's, uh, it's also my first bids. But I'm not a designer or type designer, so today I'm not going to share anything about the design, but uh, some general business problem uh, we face when it comes to type, especially brand type. So brand type, is it happening in Taiwan? What comes to your mind when you think of Taiwan? Pineapple cake or TSMC? It's interesting that uh, many people mistake Taiwan for Thailand. And in recent years, you may have often heard about this small island in the news. So uh, Taiwan has an area of approximately 36,000 square kilometers and a population of about 23 million people. And the capita uh, GDP in 2022 was 35 thousand five hundred and thirteen US dollars ranking the 25th globally and Mandarin is the official language and we use traditional Chinese Taiwan is one of the three areas that uh, use traditional Chinese in the world and the other two are Hong Kong and Macau manufacturing and other services are two major industries in Taiwan and Speaking of manufacturing, Taiwan's semiconductor industry should be very well known. And of course, the OEM, o ODM industries. As of 2021, the output of the manufacturing industry accounted for approximately 30% to 40% of Taiwan's total industries. So there are quite a few famous enterprises you may have heard of, like TSMC, Foscon, and UMC, they are all huge companies in the world. But have you ever noticed or seen any of their products? I believe part of your iPhones is cheap from uh, TSMC, and maybe the iPhone you have is made by Foscon. But you don't see their brands. And actually, you don't need to see them. So marketing should be relatively unimportant for these companies. And the industry with the highest share in Taiwan with some of the you know, top companies and generating the largest revenue in Taiwan actually doesn't need marketing that much, not to mention about brand types. It's such a pity. However, like 80% of Taiwan's companies are small and medium-sized ones. So I believe that large range of these small and uh, medium-sized companies uh, are categorized to other service industry, which is the second largest industry in Taiwan, and marketing is crucial for them. Because the industries of this category of other services, including transportation, logistics, accommodation and catering, information and communication, medical insurance, technical service, educational service, arts, entertainment, and recreation, etc. But for these companies, their capital are under you know, 3 million US dollars and with the employees less than 200 people. Marketing is important for most of them, but it's hard for them to have too much budget on it. So no mention about the brand types. And there are two major fund foundries in Taiwan, and of course, Arve is one of them. We have done uh, seven custom type projects, and the custom type I'm mentioning here is the, the top one. So most of the clients are doing this not only for the logos or logo types, but uh, a type that they use for all kinds of materials, like internally or externally. And we all know that it helps people to understand the brand's personality. And it's the most instinct way for your customer to you know, perceive your brand. But all of the clients who customize their brand types are those who could afford them. 
So they are all top companies in the world. And in Arvik's cases, none of them is from Taiwan. So how difficult is it to design a brand type? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this because I think most of you are designers, but this is quite challenging to you know, press it ahead in, in Taiwan. First of all, as I mentioned pre previously, the top companies uh, don't really need the brand type and the others are too small with limited budget. And second, the manufacturing is too important for us, so our design industry is relatively weak. Although we do have some really good designers and in recent years, our government has more sense about design and is willing to invest on it. Of course, it makes some progresses. These are the visual identity of Taiwan's National Day from 2012 to 2015. What do you think? But from 2016, Due to the change of political parties, the new government takes more serious about design. So the visual identity of the National Day from 2016 are all designed by famous designers or design studios. And one of them even used Arvix font as the project's brand type. So it's printed in all kinds of materials or banners for the National Day. Okay, but unfortunately, it progresses slowly. Five years ago, we decided to take actions for copyright protection. And we checked the cooperate social responsibility reports from you know, the top 100 enterprises in Taiwan. And more than half didn't use legal fund for their reports. I can say we are quite left behind that in some countries, I believe people know uh, they could choose better funds, but we are still trying to let everybody know funds are not free. And third, even they know how important fund is for their brand and is willing to have one, they don't have too many choices. Like as you know, we use traditional Chinese in Taiwan and the character set uh, uh, for traditional Chinese is Big Five. And the character set contains over 13 Chinese characters. So we have a really good tool to create uh, those fonts, but it still takes us at least seven months for a team of three designers to complete one font. And if the style is complicated, it will take longer. So our library don't grow that fast. So now you see how hard it is to operate a fund foundry in Taiwan. The rich companies don't care about funds that much, and the small ones can really afford one. Or they always complain that funds are too expensive because they never pay for them. And it takes a lot of people and time to develop funds, but we are still hanging here and trying everything to make it happen. So we started to uh, co-work uh, with some graphic designers who understand how important typefaces are for brands. And they could perfectly fit in our fonts into the client's design as a brand type. And this is one of the cases that we were with a designer. Our font is used as the brand type of uh, the client Gaston, a brand that sells various types of household appliances from the sign to brochures, website to apps. A brand type is not only logo or logo type that the font a brand choose should be also consistent with the brand's overall aesthetic. But I think the designer did a good job. And this is another project that a graphic designer chose for uh, our font as the client's brand type. And since it's a brand uh, of pork chop restaurant, the type is relatively cute and friendly, making dining feel like relaxed, pleasant. Just like the Chobani fun uh, for yogurt we had this morning. 
And we also have different ways for the clients to have their own brand types. If they have sufficient budget, they could have a custom fund. And we have done it for several big companies, including HP and Intel. The clients could have consistent design for all scripts they need. On top of that, the fund could not only use for printing or marketing materials. For HP and Intel projects, they also ask for very compact uh, data volume. So I believe they, they are used uh, in some of their devices too. And we could also modify any of our existing typefaces to make them more the brand is. Sometimes just a take some you know, subtle tweaks and adjustments. And in this way, our client could have more unique typefaces with less budget compared with a custom one. And this is what we did for ABB, a digital device company of Switzerland. We changed some details of our existing fund reducing the thicknesses of the horizontal strokes and make some adjustment on the top right corner and making it match the client's Latin font. And it's how it look. And last is pairing. Some clients come to us with the Latin font uh, and ask us to pair a Chinese for them. And of course, we could just find one in our own library that conveys their brand the best. So uh, compared with the customization and modification, it's the most efficient and cost-saving solution. Cathay Pacific is the project we co-work with Dalton Mac, and they have their Latin font already. What we did is to pair a Chinese font and a Japanese font for them. And this is a project we co-work with another designer on Taiwan Children's Art Cave. And the designer find a font that is suitable for the client's space, signage design and marketing materials. Uh, Cloud Gate Dance Theater is a very famous modern dance group based in Taiwan. And we work with the designer on the visual design of their 50th anniversary. And we chose a Chinese font with multiple ways for them. It's not easy to do it, but you can see we have many cases right now and we have really, really have some uh, progresses. And hopefully we can make everybody know the importance of types or you know, brain types and bring back more exciting cases to show you in the near future. Thank you very much.